So today I'm doing something different than what I've done before. I am doing a collab video with one of my subscribers and I'm subscribed to her and we talk back and forth on each other's videos all the time. Um, that is uh, Jenny from Coffee and Lipstick Nolt. And we decided to do a collab video of our top five favorite fall lipsticks. And that is a lot of stuff. Alliteration. Um, for those of you who don't know or who are, or who may be new to my channel, um, my camera's messed up so I'm stuck using my computer webcam for the time being. And my computer's also broken so it can get a little wobbly. Um, I was going to film this in the morning but we have a lot of errands to run tomorrow and I already took my makeup off for today so honestly I just threw on some black lipstick. Because I'm lazy and I had to put it away anyway, so why not? And, um, that. I would take off my glasses, but I can't see and I don't have any eyeliner on. And I'm lazy. So, sorry about the glare. Um, my wonderful husband is going to be my lip model for me. Because I don't think you guys want to see me, like, take off my lipstick and put it on, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So, I'm going to show you a lipstick and he's going to put it on and show it to you on the lips. His lips are really similarly pigmented to mine, so it works. And it was his idea, so he volunteered. Okay. Anything so, for my baby. Oh, and the other thing we said was we're only going to do, like, we're not going to have any brand repeats. Like, we're not going to have a bunch from the same brand. So, each brand, there's only one, um, if that makes sense. Um, mine are in no particular order. I had a really hard time picking because I've recently gotten a lot of new lipsticks that I love. So if you guys want to see like a complete lipstick collection video, uh, let me know and I might wait until the end of the month to do that because, well you'll just have to wait and find out. But these are in no particular order. These are the five that I narrowed it down to. Um, I had a sixth one, but I decided since the rest of them, since the five initial ones I picked were drugstore, I would just leave the sixth one out and um, not, you know, switch it for something else. And these are all drugstore. There's only one of each brand. Top five favorite fall lipsticks. I'm going to clip rambling because I think you guys figured it out. Um, and make sure to go check out her video. If I don't have it linked down below, Tell me and I will add the link because it's either I forgot or hers isn't posted yet because we didn't set a specific time. I'm going to get started now. Like I said, these are in no specific order. Okay. The first one is a Makeup Revolution lipstick. Um, I got this at Ulta. Ulta recently started carrying them. They are a little bit cheaper if you order them off their website. At Ulta, they're $3 and on their website, they're like a pound uh, I think it's a pound. Yeah, they're a pound, which is, last time I checked, it's like $1.57. I mean, plus shipping, but they have so many extra colors on there and so many awesome ones. Definitely worth checking out. Um, they have some that are a little bit more, but these ones are a pound. $3 at Ulta. Um, but this is the color 100% Vamp. I have another color from them that's very, very similar to this, but I decided to go ahead and pick this one. And this is what it looks like. It's very dark. Um... So, sorry, I suck at swatches. So this is like one go. So it can be very, very light. But you can also build that up to that very dark color. And as a disclaimer, I'm a goth. I'm wearing black lipstick for the fun of it. Um, but you can build it up to a very dark color or you can leave it that very sheer light color. Um, I really love these lipsticks. Now they are more slick. Um, they're not the kind of thing where it's like, oh my gosh, I can eat and drink everything and it's fine. No, you drink coffee, this is gone. But they look really pretty and they nurse to stay on. As long as you're not like eating and drinking stuff, you're fine. And three bucks or a pound, that's uh, not bad. Um, they also have, you can pull the top off. Watch me not be able to get this one now. Yeah, like if you finish the lipstick and you haven't gotten more, you can pull the little top part off and it has more in there, so that's cool. 
So Alex is going to try this on for us now. Sorry for the delay. I'll just jam her until he gets it put on because that's way more fun than watching me put on lipstick and take it off, huh? But I do really like these Makeup Revolution lipsticks. I've got three more. I've tried two of them. I love both of them. And I've got one more that I haven't tried out yet. But I'm looking forward to... Um, when I have some money, I'm planning on just getting on their website and ordering a bunch of these ones and a bunch of the other ones they have. Because this is a great brand. I originally heard about it from Tez, from Tezmania TV and then Ulta started carrying them and I got really excited and then I was sad because all they have is eyeshadow palettes and I'm like I don't care I want lipstick and then they started carrying the lipsticks and I was so excited I think I annoyed the crap out of Alex mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be perfect he is really good at putting on lipstick for both thoughts but that's what it le looks like on the lips. It's really pretty, kind of purpley, definitely g dark, but not obviously as dark as my black lipstick. It's kind of hard to put on, though. It's not very thick. It's pretty thin. Yeah, it's kind of thin. I don't really have a problem with it, but... So that's the first one. And then... Didn't even open this. No, it's a new package. Don't... Alexander! Um... Mounts on my leg here. Ow! <laughs> This is my videos. If you're new to my channel, I purposely don't edit because this is way more fun and it also helps me be a better public speaker type of thing. Um, I have noticed that in like real life, I am better. It still makes me nervous, but I am better at talking in front of people since I started my channel. The next lipstick I have, first, let me tell you about this. I love this lipstick. I originally got it for um, my stage makeup class. I needed dark lipstick. And this was like before I got really into makeup. It was about the time I got really into makeup. So I got this one. And it's Rimmel lipstick in the color Bordeaux. And this lipstick. Okay. If I don't watch how I open it, the bottom comes off because it's cracked. That's the cat's fault. And then it got a little smashed into the cap. That was his fault. But Thanks, it's okay. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. I'm not mad at him about it. Whenever I finish it, he's going to get me a new one. And I can still use it, so I don't really care. But yeah, this is Rimmel London lipstick in the color Bordeaux. Um, this is one of my favorite lipsticks. And it is a little bit lighter than most of the other stuff I've hit. Relatively. And it looks like this. It's more of a reddish. It's the second one here. Um, it's really pretty. It's kind of shimmery. Um, I guess you'd call it like a wine color. But I, I really, really... It's one of my favorites. I think that's actually the only Rimmel lipstick I have. But I should get some more. because Oh, and it smells so good. This was my first encounter with a lipstick that didn't smell like lipstick. lipstick and it smells so good um but yeah it's kind of like a shimmery darker wineish color lipstick um it always goes on really easy it's just, it doesn't stay on super long but it's not like the makeup revolution ones and it I think it's very pretty. Like I said, it got a little smashed. And it looks like this on the lips. Isn't it my, my wonderful lip model? But as you can see, it's a lot lighter than the you other know, ones. Best way to swatch, right? Ow! Oh, it hurts. See, show them. I've already got a swatch on my hand. Oh. Doofus. Mm hmm. There's also a lot of this in my videos. And he's always empties but this is one of my favorite lipsticks period so well, i had to you know, include you wanted it. me to get involved so yep. get this all the time hey oh there's some husbands right um next one i have is a wet and wild one this is in the color cherry bomb um i had to search for this i actually had to go to the next town over cvs to get it because i couldn't find it anywhere in our town i have a lot more of these I think these are called the Mega Last lipsticks. 
I don't know, they're the ones that look like this. They're like two bucks. Um, when I got CVS, I actually had it on sale, so I got it for like $1.50 or something. But I have some other one of these, other ones of these. I really like them. They are definitely matte. And that you do have to kind of be careful because they kind of like tug on your lips. But like I said, this is the color Cherry Bomb. And it's also a reddish. But it's a darker cherry reddish. And it's this one. Like I said, it's more matte. And you can see the differences. Um... I just really like how it looks. It's on me. It's really deep red. Like I said, he has very similar lip pigmentation to me. Did you swatch? Yes. Oh. And, yeah. I have, like I said, I have some other ones of their lipsticks. And I really like how they look. Somebody, I saw this from somebody on YouTube, but I don't remember who it was. Um, if I remember, I'll tell you guys, but I don't always remember. But, yes. And that's what it looks like on. You're also getting, keep in mind you're getting a tiny bit of wash out from our bright lamp. But this is pretty true to color. It's slightly darker in person, but here, put your head closer. There we go. <laughs> um, yes, it's definitely very pretty lipstick. Do, no, no, no. No. Give me a lipstick. Excuse me, princess. So yes, I really like this one. I mean, they're one of my favorites. Of course I really like them. Um, I do have some other ones that... I mean, I'm a goth. These are things I wear all the time. But they count as fall lipsticks for everybody else, so... I swear if you start quoting the sound of music, I'm going to push you out the window. The next one... Love you. ...is a Milani lipstick... I don't know if there's a special name for these, but it's Milani. And it's in the color Black Cherry. And I saw this one somewhere on YouTube as well. Oh, I guess I should take this off. I have one other Milani lipstick. And these ones smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers. It's freaking awesome. Um, but I really like these. I keep saying I really like these. Obviously, I really like them. It's a favorites. Durr. But it's this color down here. Herp, herp. It's, I mean, it's black cherry, so it's another deep reddish color. Um, I think the only one I included that was like purplish was up here because I was trying to keep it in the burgundies and reddishes because I know that's normal people fall color lipsticks. Um, but it's a, it's not so much a matte. It's it's not really a glossy type either. It's kind of like in between those. It's really comfortable. I really like how they look. Blah, blah, blah. Pretty much everything I've said about everything else. Um, I was really excited when I got this and the other one. Because they were the first Milani products I'd gotten. I finally found something from them I wanted to get. And I love them. Um, I am wanting to try some of their other lip products now. But I do really love both of the ones that I got and my lovely lip model smile dearest here put your face closer because I don't know why they're not coming off so dark but it's a very um, pretty hey, there we go it's also kind of shadowed. But it's a deeper reddish color. And then the last one I have is Maybelline Burgundy Blush. I think these are the color sensationals. I saw this. It was either on Coffee Break with Danny or Jam Beauty 89. Or both. I don't remember. But I saw this and it was so pretty. So I added it to my list and I went looking for it. It took me forever to find it. I finally found it at Walmart in town. There was only one left and it's got a little like dingy thing. But I didn't really care because it was the only one left. I absolutely, absolutely love this color. It is a matte and it is a darker 
Now I'm just gonna go to Tashi Station and pick up some power converters. Burgundy, this lighting, there we go. We're getting good lighting here. It's a darker burgundy. It, for normal people, you're probably gonna have to be a little bit braver to wear this, but I love it. It's a beautiful color. It's, like I said, it's definitely a matte. Super dark burgundy. Very soft. Yeah, very soft. Oh, there's a chunk on me. Sorry, that was my fault. Mm -hmm. Totally worth buying the last one that was happened to be like dinged up. Totally worth it in my opinion. Um, Technical difficulties, folks. Hold on. The dinged up bit came off on Alex's lip. Cool. No, I peeled off the rest of that. Oh, well, that works. But you can see how it's kind of darker and more matte than the others. It's also very clay-like. Yeah, it's it doesn't tug as much as the Good wet and wild one. Gosh, I'm super easy, but feels like it would come off really easy. Uh, it doesn't come off super easy, even really? though it might feel like it. But it doesn't tug as much as the wet and wild one either, and it's a little bit more matte. So you guys can see the differences. I'm sorry the lighting is being crap today. I it usually works fine in here. But, you know, when I film a collab video and all that stuff, it has to have issues. But those are the ones that I picked for my top five favorite fall lipsticks. Um, and if you guys want some other recommendations, let me know. Like I said, I'm a goth, so the stuff that I wear all the time pretty much counts as fall stuff for normal people. And I've kind of gotten obsessed with lipstick lately like I don't know what it is but maybe it's all the fall colors that have come out I've just been obsessed lately yeah she really has and that's sweet because I love my kitten but I do have some other ones I really like and <clears throat> yes so I this this video is almost 20 minutes long <laughs> crap Yes. I was trying to be succinct, but that didn't work. So I'm going to let you guys go now. Um, if you came here from Coffee and Lipstick Nolts channel, thank you so much for checking out my video and my channel. You should totally subscribe because, you know, you get lots more of my yammering and... And me. Yeah, and this one's ah. face. Hi. And... Ah. Um... If you are on my channel and you haven't checked out her channel, go check out her channel, check out her video. Um, I'll put her name and her channel link in the description box. If I remember, if I didn't do that and I forgot, somebody tell me to do that because... But, uh, I think that's all I was going to say. Um, yeah, have a good day. Definitely check out these lipsticks. They're some of my favorites. And check out her channel, her video, all that good stuff. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!